Baseball's non-public finals, a doubleheader on D1 Media Pro today. Next, starting with non-public B between Morris Catholic and Saddle River Day from PCTI right here on the NFL Just Network. He's going to take it himself for a championship. Oh. A double play wins it to three. Turn it to the end zone. What a catch. The Cuyahns on touchdown. Good late afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Wayne, New Jersey's Passaic County Technical Institute School, as today we have the Morris Catholic Crusaders coming to this game with a 25-1 record, as they will take on the 24-1 record Saddle River Day Colonial Rebels. My name is Ryan Lowey. I'm joined today with Dre Cameron on camera. Today, we will have a non-public B final matchup. Once again, Saddle River Day is 24-1, and and Morris Catholic is 25-1. and We have a great game for you right here next on the D1 Media Pro page on on the NFHS Network. Once again, my name is Ryan Lowey, and coming up next, we have lineups, national anthem, and basketball. They score! Floyd attacking and throws it down! Touchdown for St. Peter's! I'm here with Darren Lewis. With Simeon Wilcher. Here with Precious Achua. It's about doing overtime. Just minutes away from tip-off here at the non-public B North Finals. Winner of this one has St. John Vianney, the Lancers, down from the south, won their section. The winner of this one will play in the group finals of the non-public bracket, in which after that one we will have one of those three teams mentioned playing and having a berth in the Tournament of Champions final year of existence for now as the Tournament of Champions will shut down after one more season at the boys and girls level. Once again, my name is Ryan Lowey. I'm joined with Drake Cameron today on the D1 Media Pro page on the NFHS Network. We are a minute away from pregame festivities here at PCTI and tip-off. Morris Catholic, 25 wins and one loss. Sour River Day, 24 wins and one loss. It is a packed house. A special thank you to head coach Billy Lovett of Morris Catholic and for Saddle River Day head coach Danny Brown. Both teams combined for only two losses and over 40 wins in this long season. Last year's season they were very successful but there was no county or state sectional tournament. Both teams were county champions and both teams had a nice and easy ride here. We were on the call for the victory for Morris Catholic as they absolutely dominated Villa Walsh. We're now going to hand it over to the PA for our starting lineups.
Anthems and starting lineups for Saddle River Day today. The player to watch is Paulina Paris, 559 points in the season. The North Carolina commit, and then for the Crusaders, keep an eye on the Paldo sisters, Maya and Mia. Two freshmen have absolutely dominated and are getting college looks as just freshmen. We have very high level basketball for you here today in the sectional finals. The winner will have a group berth versus St. John Vianney, the non public B state finals, and then we'll have an invitation to the final tournament of champions. The three official lineup today will have the head official as well as two side line judges here at the Passaic County Technical Institute School of Wayne in Morris County, New Jersey. There's a lot to do in Wayne. You can go to the great Willowbrook Mall. There's also a lot of fun stuff to do as well as visit national parks and sites. But today, all eyes are on the basketball game at the high school level. A doubleheader today. We have wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the girls' non-public B bracket and the girls' non-public A. Newark Academy of Livingston are the favors to win the next game. They will have very tough competition. But first, we have Morris Catholic and Saddle River Day. Crusaders and Colonial Rebels coming up right here on the D1 meter per page on the NFHS Network. And with the tip off, we are underway, won by the Crusaders of Morris Catholic. Hold up. Swan over, here's a three from her sister to get them started. It's off the rim and out. Three go up for the rebound, and it's taken down by Sierra Pearson. Here come the Rebels up the court. Controlled on in the back, Almeida. Overhead pass on out to Pearson. Back on far side to Almeida. Overhead pass, driving on in. And throwing it up and unable to finish there is Pearson. And here comes Morris Catholic down the other side. Both teams, an unsuccessful first possession. Paldo wants to shoot a three, and she can't get him started as the basketball goes off the rim and rolls out of bounds. Taking over will be the first seeded Saddle River Day Rebels. I'd like to thank you for joining us. My name is Ryan Riley. We have Dre Cameron on camera. Here's from the Passaic County Technical Institute School. We are wrapping up the winter season of athletics. Hockey has completed itself from the Prudential Center this Monday where the five state championships. And now basketball meeting its final tournament of champion seasons. This one's laid up and it's just a little too strong and rebounded by Paldo. Here comes Mara Scalpic. Here's the Maya sister. Swung on over to Mattis. Back on over to Paldo. Paldo will take her time as we start to get Rebels chance on the bench. About a minute into this one. Still no score here in the Group B North sectional finals for non-public bracket. Big three from Paldo. Handoff. Stupakis gives it right back to her for the mid-ranger, and it's good. Two on the board for Morris Catholic. The underdogs with an easy win to get here have got us started. A little one-two punch pass. Goes right out of bounds, and Morris Catholic will take over. Rousey start to this one. Morris Catholic, a big win to get here. An easy roll in the quarterfinal round right through Villa Walsh at home. Then they took down Immaculate Conception of Montclair out of Essex County. Haldo pivots, tries to roll on through. She's pickpocketed, keeps it, throws it out to Stupakis. Contested three. Rimming out, offensive rebound from the other Haldo sister. 
Both freshmen keep an eye on the Paldo sisters. Rolls on out from the mid-range, pickpocketed, holds on to it. Mia Paldo, the skilled freshman, shoots one from far off the rim and out, and the rebound is defensive to Paulina Paris. The North Carolina can make getting her first touch, and waved on down, we have a foul, and the Rebels will throw in. Slow start on the scoring game, we're about two minutes in. Just a second over six minutes through, and we still only have one team on the board. Both teams off from the marker more times than on so far. Paris able to lay one up. We got a tie game. It's 2 2. Fitting for Paulina Paris in her final sectional final appearance. Is able to get her crew started and start this game right back off where it was at tip off. Mattis bounce pass over to Paldo. Paldo from the outside is skilled and tricky. On one, she'll lay it on out. Hand off right back to her from Mattis. She'll ask for a screen, swing it over to her sister. Her sister shoots a mid-range with half contested. She can't finish. The rebound comes from defending her Faith Williamson. She chucks one and up, hard for Corey to control. Back on out, here's a three ball. No good. Rebound is defensive, we have a whistle. Morris Catholic basketball, a rebounding foul against the Colonial Rebels. Once again, keep an eye on the Rebels. Number 23, Paulina Paris. The North Carolina commit has 559 points, now 561, putting the only two on the board that we've seen from her squad today. Keep an eye on her. Both teams very skilled. Back on out. The Caldo sisters will work together. They hold possession 70% of the time, most say, for the Crusaders, as Caldo can't finish, gets her own rebound. Contested, she has her dribble back after getting her rebound off the backboard to her sister, Mia Paldo. The freshman guard swings one on out. Stupakis with time and with the pass. Mattis, Paldo, great control from Morris Catholic. The limited time they have. Mid-ranger, can't roll in. This time rebound. Finds a good effort from Corey to get a rebound. Up the court now from Saddle River Day. Time for Harris. Harris gets tricky with it. A 5-7 guard swings one on out. Williamson back to Paris 4-3 off the rim and out. Rebound to Paldo. Maya Paldo finds a lane. Harris comes in to rebound it, and it's chipped off of Paldo. An exquisite effort from Sierra Pearson. Harris blocked the shot. Pearson saw it going out of bounds. She was able to get a finger on it and deflect it off of Paldo. And that's how we find the Colonial Rebels swinging the basketball. Pass too strong on the inside. And this loose ball will be huddled on like a football. And we have a jump ball. And it will stay. Rebel basketball, 3.33 left to play here in the opening quarter. We have our first substitution of the game. And the Rebels are going to check in number 22 for them. My apologies, number 32, or no, 22 will shoot a three, and this one is off the rim and out. And it's a Morris Catholic rebound from Paldo. Now it's passing into her sister. It's just a little too strong. She'll have to reset. Mid Ranger, just too strong and tip out of bounds. But they're going to say that it's Rebel basketball. So the Rebels will take over once again. Sanchez. Swung on over, Harris finds a lane. Backwards hook shot. Will roll, the old fashioned hook shot never fails. First lead of the game for Saddle River Day as they started the game down two nothing and are able to double their scoring of what Morris Catholic had. They're up four to two. Paul out to Stu Packus. Back on out to Mattis. Mia Paldo. Contested three, over Sanchez. Morris Catholic gets their lead right back. Two and a half left to go in the first quarter. 
This game has turned into buckets galore as Sanchez swings one back on out to Paris. Overhead pass, here's a three, and it is off by Williamson. Baldo rebound. The sister. Gives it right back to where it came from. Maya Paldo, win Ranger. Seven to four. Once again, a packed house here at PCTI. Not a huge facility, a nice sized one. Packed on our side where we're broadcasting from. Far side as well, Sanchez lays one up. Rimming out, Paldo doesn't have the patience to let it go out of bounds. She wants to take it on up and get rebound credit. She sees a three, she puts one up. Rimming out, offensive rebound, poked right out of bounds by Mattis. Saddle River Bay at basketball as checking back in for them. Will be Pearson. Both teams have their starting fives out with a minute 45 left to go. Harris didn't double dribble on that one or travel. One point difference. Once again, a loud crowd here. Both benches trying to get into it as well. 90 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Stupakis rolls through. She's rejected. She's back on her own basketball. Bounce pass over Paldo. Redirects on out. Maya Paldo. Back on out to Mia Paldo. The student section is getting loud for Saddle River Day. Both schools, Catholic schools that are... As here's the three! What a finish by Paldo! First dual possession lead of the game, as I was saying, both schools, co-ed Catholic schools, a response three, well off. Morris Catholic rebound, Mia Paldo. Oh, she gets tricky, she rolls through three, chokes one up, can't be in one, but she'll go to the line. 43 on the clock. A clinic of a basketball game. Two minutes for both teams to really get comfortable, but now it's been buckets galore from the Passaic County Technical Institute School of Wayne in Morris County, New Jersey. Made the half hour trip from Livingston, Essex County to come here to broadcast a thriller, and that's just what it's fulfilled. Here's where within a minute left to go in the opening quarter as Caldo lets the first one go through. A 17-point game, season 11-6, Morris County lead. They're considered the underdogs as Saddle River Day holds that precious one-seed spot that guaranteed them home court advantage throughout. Two for two at the line. 40 seconds. Harris. Here's a wide open three ball for Williamson. One possession game. Half a minute left to play before we go to quarter break. Neck and neck, this game is. And the crowd is loud as Caldo will hold the basketball from outside. Still has her dribble to use. Holds the basketball in her right armpit. Abu coming from the crowd, she wants to run this one down. Five seconds left to go. She will go one on one with Pearson. Pearson doing a good job right on her hook. Swung on out. Called the Mid Ranger to end it. Three men out. 12 to 9, Morris Catholic leads. To conclude the first quarter of action, my name is Ryan Lowey, and on the D1 meter per page on the NFHS Network, on this 21 point game, Morris Catholic leads by three. Stay tuned for the second quarter right here on the D1 meter per page on the NFHS Network. When one of the top public high school athletic programs in the state of New Jersey uses the number one live stream in the nation. Flip to Carson. He went the 90 yards on the kickoff return. He's trying to finish it off with a touchdown, and he does. The five, Carson. Ball court. Passed on over to Capstraw. Capstraw will dive in past two players, and she's able to lay it up and score. That is the 1,000-point club type of play right there. You can't ask for better than that one. Pass the cur cross, stick down by Murphy. Send the shot and deflect it, they score! Two down. We're at the 2.30 marker left in the game. Immaculate go quickly, but it has just costed them a good play there to stay on the West Orange side. Diving in quickly is Capstraw, and she herself is leading West Orange to a comeback. Five. Short shot on goal. Back for another quarter of action. Here in the non-public B North 
sectional finals. Winner has a group tournament berth. Time for Paldo. Her sister, Pump Fakes. Stupakis. Paldo. Three ball from Stupakis. She's contested on the shot. It's in and out. A good rebound from Almeida. Moving quickly are the Rebels. Here's a three ball. By Art and through Paulina Paris. Yes, indeed. It's a tie basketball game, folks. There's a quick pocket. One and one with Paldo is Paris. She's fouled. So go to the line 55 seconds into the second quarter. So the North Carolina commit, the senior guard at the line. A good year for Paulina Paris. Over half a thousand points this year. First foul shot will roll. And Saddle River Day gets that lead back that they started off in this game. Four to two lead. This is what we saw in the first quarter as the second biggest lead to a Six point difference from Morris Catholic. One for two at the line. Goes the end to commit. Offensive rebound. Ball oh, looking picked up from Juliana Almeida. A three point play off the takeover by the Colonial Rebels. They lead by a try there on defense. Saddle River Day hosting Morris Catholic in the North Finals of Non Public B. Winner has a group berth versus St. John Vianney, the Lancers. Pacus. Maya Paldo. Outside and swung on over far. Maya Paldo. Stu Pacus. Three ball. Well off. It's air ball. And it's out of bounds and last touch by Morris Catholic. Looks like that one got a piece of Maya Sampong. The freshman 5'11 forward couldn't keep it in and give Santa River Day the basketball back. And Paulina Paris will. Let this one roll on into her, off the bounce. Pivot from Corey. Time from the outside. Williams over for three to Paris. From Paris down to New Jersey. There is no stopping the North Carolina Paulina Paris commit. 559 points coming into this game. And she is really powering through. A timeout called by Santa River Day. Excuse me, Morris Catholic, we'll be right back. This New Jersey house. I can't see it. Black out. It's blurred. It, well, it's supposed to be blurred. Hear that? Time out, called by Morris Catholic, their first time out of the end, they'll have four remaining, Santa River Day with the whole arsenal of five. They find themselves up by six after Morris Catholic found themselves up by six earlier in this game. The Paldo sisters trying to spearhead a Crusaders comeback. Here's a three from one of the Paldo sisters. It can't go. What a nice rebound and throw by Corey up the court, Almeida. Far out to Williamson, 4-3! The freshman guard, Faith Williamson, wants to end Morris Catholic season. 
Jump shot off the rim and tipped out of bounds. It'll go in the direction of the Rebels of Saddle, Saddle River Day. Quite the game they're having, and to no surprise, Paulina Paris, the senior, doing an excellent job leading her squad. Time for Corey, back on out. Williamson off the big three, wants to put five in a row on the board for her. Foul on the floor, it will remain Rebel basketball with 5.20 roughly. Left to play in the half. An exciting first quarter that took about two minutes for both teams to get started. Santa River Day really trying to pull away with this one as they find themselves up by nine. Three ball, Williamson. Two threes in a row. Faith Williamson. No joke basketball for Saddle River Day this second quarter. And a foul on the D1 commit. Harris charged. Crusader throw in to come from Maya Sampong. And she will switch with Stu Packus. Can't complain about the crowd. A big game, non-public B here in the North Final. And then coming up next, we have the non-public A Finals in the girls' brackets. Winner of this one has St. John Vianney. Hit Ranger, no good. Rebounding foul on Sampong. Morris Catholic raking up the fouls. It's their fourth total. Both teams can find themselves in the bonus real soon. Seven for the bonus in high school basketball. Quickly thrown on in. A relay way up from Dakota Corey. Morris Catholic. Pressure to call another timeout. Billy Lovett will use his second. Three left to go for them. Stay tuned. Green pass, out in the flat, caught, and it's a touchdown for St. Peter's. Okay. O'Donnell swinging away, puts it over the shortstop's head. That's a base hit, it'll score one. Faraz on his way home. Throw in, is not in time. Going quickly, Bullock takes the snap, throws to the far side. Bar and open, touchdown. In there, called strike three, looking. Mulcahy, he strikes out the side. He's perfect through two. Now up ahead for the Marauders. Here comes Bengals. They score! Michael Bengals for St. Peter's Park. Bounced on the ground to short. Faraz Fields flip to O'Donnell. One throw on to first. In time for a double play. Just we'll look back out there for the Marauders. He takes the snap. Looking over the middle. Has a man. And he scores. We open it. 35. Stick on to the... Welcome back, Morris Catholic off another timeout. Down by 14, 26 to 12. Saddle River Day, well deservedly the one seed. Have clicked in this one. The two seed Morris Catholic uncomfortable. Paldo wants to change that with the three. Splash. Nothing but net from Paldo. The sisters were your two players to watch on the Morris Catholic side. And it's another great play by the Paldo sister. That one, Maya Paldo. The big three from mine, and then a nice defensive play to cause a Rebel reset. Off the reset, Faith Williamson was red hot before the timeout. She wants to get right back there. She can't finish a layup, double contested. Maya Paldo rebound. Back on out. Come fake from Mia. Mia Paldo. As we crack the four minute marker, left to go. Pacus, one on one with Almeida, swings it on out. Mattis, Aldo. Her sister will now try and drive in. Back on out, Stu Pacus. Aldo. No shot clock in high school basketball. You're seeing Morris Catholic get away with that one here. The Aldo sisters will work together again. Aldo to Aldo. Three and a half left to play. In the half. Spin move by Paldo. Relay. Finish. Can't go. And the foul on the floor. 
Rebel basketball. And you're seeing head coach Danny Brown quite happy, but never satisfied is Coach Brown. That's his attitude. Mid-ranger from the foul marker, no good. Morris Catholic rebound. Aldo, Stupakis. Aldo. Mattis. Throws it up, she's denied by Almeida. One-two connection to Corey. Back on out, Harris. Almeida. Rolls out. And it looks like Almeida will be charged on the foul. Excuse me, Corey. That was Dakota Corey for the Rebels. Check that. So, Morris Catholic at the basketball back. Morris Catholic boys finish their season with a very tough loss to Roselle Catholic. It seems spoiled with college commits. Catholic taking their time. A little too tricky is Caldo. Taken away, a nice diving effort by Almeida to give the ball to the easy finish in Rebels. Credit there to, to Dakota Corey. 28-15. 13-point lead for the Rebels. Great thing about basketball is that it's a morale-driven game. Timeouts affect that. Each team given five. Morris Catholic had to use two, and they're down by 13. Paulgo makes an 11. 100 seconds left to play. Harris from far. Bricked. Rebound, Paulgo. Back on out, three ball from far. Doesn't go for Mattis. Chumped on up the court. Paris able to catch it over Stu Packus. 80 seconds now left to go. Thrown on over. Three ball. It sinks. There's no stopping Faith Williamson. Sniper, three ball. Aldo. And one. Now that's a response. 12 point difference. Aldo gunned one up while being thrown backwards and was able to capitalize. Again, the Paldo sisters, just freshmen. After the season, three more years of eligibility. Can't finish. Severa rebound, excuse me, that was a finish from Corey. Three quarters of a minute left to play in the half. Paulda from the mid-range, she goes down on the shot, off the rim, offensive rebound. Put back good for Mattis. Morris Catholic able to find responses. 1-2 connection on the inside. Too strong from Pearson. A whistle keeps the basketball with the Rebels. Once again, a 12-point lead here in the North Finals of non-public B. The sectional tournament coming to an end on the non-public side. Public side will be completing shortly. Questionable there that Williams stayed on her side and it wasn't a backcourt violation. All three officials today did not blow into their whistle. Harris will roll out the clock. She can mathematically do suit. First, we have a foul on the floor. And the Rebels will have to re-throw one back in, and Paris wants to do it. Four seconds. Out Almeida Paris last second he it's off the putback is in time basketball IQ session from Dakota Corey 
And that's a fitting way for Saddle River Day to enter the half. A second quarter in their control of first quarter, Morris Catholic control, but a little stronger from the day school of Saddle River. Oh, sorry, sorry. And it's a 14 point lead going into the half for Morris, for Saddle River Day here in the state sectional finals, North Bracket of non public B. Our doubleheader today meets its first of four halves complete. We're back to the second half right here on the D1 Media Pro page on the NFHS Network. When one of the top public high school athletic programs in the state of New Jersey uses the number one live stream in the nation. Flip to Carson. He went the 90 yards on the kickoff return. He's trying to finish it off with a touchdown, and he does. Goodbye, Carson. Ball court. Passed on over to Capstra. Capstra will dive in past two players, and she's able to lay it up and score. That is the 1,000-point club type of play right there. You can't ask for better than that one. Pass the Kirk cross, stick down by Murphy. Send a shot and deflect it, they score! Two now. We're at the 2.30 marker left in the game. Immaculate go quickly, but it has just costed them a good play there to stay on the West Orange side. Diving in quickly is Capstraw, and she herself is leading West Orange to a comeback. Five. Short shot on goal, and post! Free kick for West Orange. She sends it to us in that. Oh, but we don't score the game, we just call and record it. As the pitch from Bove with nobody on base swung on and missed, struck him out. Lucy now trying to get on the offensive side of things, can he? Ooh, and he's able to work himself into a pin position. Penny on the pin. He's got all five. That point's easily secured. And he pins him. So the first row suit with a pinfall victory. West Orange with a 5 nothing win over North Central. I'm here with West Orange head coach Doug Nevins. All right, West Orange with a 6-1 win over Columbia. I'm here with three stars of the game. Emma Mitchell, Kaya Schultz, Gianna Festino. So I'm Ryan Lowey from D1 Media Pro, and I'm joined with senior Kaya Schultz and junior Kylie Capstraw. Here with West Orange girls varsity coach Sean DeVore. Screen pass out in the flat court, and it's a touchdown for St. Peter's. Pitch. O'Donnell swinging away, puts it over the shortstop's head. That's a base hit. It'll score one. Faraz on his way home. Throw in is not in time. Going quickly, Bullock takes the snap, throws to the far side. Wide open touchdown. Called strike three looking. Mulcahy he strikes out the side. He's perfect through two. Now up ahead for the Marauders. Here comes Bankovitz. They score! Michael Bankovitz for St. Peter's Park. Bounced on the ground to short. Faraz Fields flipped to O'Donnell one. Throw on to first. In time for a double play. Just we'll look back out there for the Marauders. He takes the snap. Looking over the middle. Has a man. And he scores. Reels it in. 35. Once again, hit in the air to deep center field. Sicka moving on the back at the wall. It's gone! LS Reed with a two-run blast. And the Marauders have a 6-0 lead. St. Peter's Prep has the best coverage for its student-athletes. Why don't you? It's hard to get to everything we have going on here. I mean, this high school has so much. And now you're offering the ability to watch those events without having to travel there. My dad travels a lot, so he likes to watch the events. Like if I'm playing a volleyball game and he can't make it, um, he'll watch it and he loves it. I think it was homecoming. It was Friday night. And um, it was a punt return, and I returned it all the way back for a touchdown. And then, of course, I showed all my family members, and they, they really liked it. They, they liked to see what their family members can do. Golden Lions. I think this broadcast is essential because uh, uh, our team is global, and we got people all over the world going to watch the game. So without this, there is no way they can do that. These kids and these players football. feel loved. They feel important. And by broadcasting it, you have a bigger group that you're reaching that allows them to know those kids.
one of New Jersey's premier high school basketball teams, gets their coverage from D1 Media Pro. And it goes like this. Finds Floyd to tie things up. Tie game! 62 apiece. 90 seconds. Floyd attacking and throws it down. Corey Floyd. A missed opportunity down low. Behind the back to play now. And one. Lawrence with Floyd to lob it up. And a slam. Too low for Dunn. Wilcher to Floyd. Brings it in. And one on the lob. Thought about the three. Drive. Face lock. Oh, what a start for Corey Floyd. Here with Corey Floyd after a tough six. Wilcher, three. Got it. Simeon Wilcher is fired up. And Simeon Wilcher all alone with the flush. Out of here with Simeon Wilcher. And a pass taken away by Marshall. And he'll throw it down. Tosses it ahead to Valencia. Serene driving and throws it down. He kicks it around and a turnover. Corey Floyd has it. Step through, lay it down the basket. Michael Cerrone here with Roselle Catholic head coach Dave Boff. Dave, you're coming up. Now, it's your time to join. This New Jersey house. I can't see it. Black out. It's blurred. It, well, it's supposed to be blurred. Why do you say the first time? Uh, I didn't even pre- It's the Rangers, it's Blackhawks. Yeah, it's Blackhawks. I'm in Chicago was the home team twice, so, you know, this is not a gimme series for Edmonton. But, uh, but, uh, I, I still make the others a single. Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute is the preferred practice for diagnosis and orthopedic treatment in New Jersey. From the moment you become a patient in our practice, our experienced team supports you until your full recovery with education, compassion, and understanding. Our focus includes sports injuries as well as the treatment of a broad range of orthopedic complaints from common tendon ailments and arthritic joint pain to traumatic injuries. Our facility offers an on-site physical therapy suite in conjunction with specifically designed exercise programs, non-invasive and advanced healing technology. We can not only address the current injury, but also find the underlying cause such as muscle weakness, imbalance, or improper form. We also offer non-surgical modalities, such as platelet-rich plasma injections, which can lead to an accelerated recovery. To provide efficient and excellent care, personal interactions and individualized attention for each patient is important. We are committed to create a protocol that can eliminate similar injuries in the future. At North Jersey Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute, we are dedicated to providing the highest standard of care and comfort of athletes, including patients with non-related sports injuries. Board-certified orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, Dr. Michael Rusinella, utilizes non-surgical and minimally invasive surgical procedures to help patients regain back their quality of life. Welcome back to Passaic County Technical Institute in Wayne Morris County, New Jersey. Once again, my name is Ryan Lowey. I'm joined with Andre Cameron on camera today. Don't forget, this is the first of wall-to-wall coverage of a doubleheader. Coming up next, Immaculate Heart of Washington Township versus Newark Academy of Livingston. 
That's coming up next. A reminder, the winner of this one is in the group finals of Group B. We'll take on St. John Vianney. And just to get you to know how good the number one team in the state of New Jersey within St. John Vianney is for girls basketball, to open up the season, Morris Catholic lost 86 to 50 to them on the road, Adam. And then St. John Vianney in the Coach's Choice USA College Showcase also hosted Saddle River Day to a 76-51 victory. So business as usual will do the job for St. John Vianney. But business as usual will not do the job in the sectional championship for the Rebels as they are currently up 35 to 21, only a 14 point difference versus one of the streakiest teams in the state of New Jersey which within the Crusaders. And when they win, they don't lose. A winning streak they've had coming into this game. That's right, they have not lost the game since the opening game of the season. A 25 game winning streak for Morris Catholic. They're on a streak that never ends. And an eight game winning streak trying to turn into a nine game winning streak for the Colonial Rebels. Third quarter of action just moments away as the Rebels will get going on a pass in. Paris over to Williamson. Back to the D1 commit within Paris. Control now, Almeida. Time for Pearson, she swings on out. Harris doesn't use her dribble, back to Pearson. All the way over Williamson, red hot in the first half with shots. Good control for the Rebels, pass connection inside Almeida. A fierce finish. Right over Maya Sampong, it's 37-21. The Rebels. Trying to bring that momentum from the second quarter into the third. Stupakis. Bounce pass deflected. And over to Apaldo sister who gets it back on a one-two. Three for Paldo. Air ball. Well, made a rebound on the air ball. Minute into this third quarter. Rebels control. Three ball, rimming out. Almeida rebound. Fierce fighting and a jump ball right before it was tipped away into the hands of Morris Catholic. Morris Catholic basketball. Once again, a reminder, the A bracket up next, Immaculate Heart and Newark Academy. Washington Township's Immaculate Heart, Livingston's Newark Academy, three ball. It's good. Way to get Morris Catholic score in this second half, Daniela Mattis. 14 point spread here at PCTI in Wayne, Morris County, New Jersey. Two county champions taking each other on in a sectional final bout. From the inside, a good connection over to Corey. Throws one up, uses the backboard to finish. Stupakis with the response. Stupakis tacks on two. Back and forth we go from PCTI. Harris thrown up and in. Harris waltzed right through. Caldo. Calling for help. Loses her dribble. And she's able to find Mattis. Mattis goes down while driving. The basketball stays in bounds. As it's picked on up by Paris. Five minutes left to play three ball. No good from Williamson. Offensive rebound and Almeida will go to the line. Almeida at the line for Santa River Day. The sophomore guard powered through. And will now tack on more. No good on the first roll, the second one coming. And off the hands of the officials, bounce pass. One more to go. Oh for two. Stupakis having a day on the rebound. Apaldo sisters work it on up from Stupakis. And the shot is waved off. A tough break for Morris Catholic. They're still down by 15. Foul is on the floor. 
Paldo will inbound. To Stupakis. She shoots a three. No good from Paldo. Offensive rebound. The one two punch is no good. And a fierce fight. Coriana. Harris. Humpty. Finish. And one. What a finish. No complaints for Paris. That's Division I basketball right there at its finest. And the extra shot will tack in. Under five left to play in the third quarter. Paldo to her sister. Good one-two defense right here on the hustle from Pearson. Forcing the Paldo sisters to have no response. She did it on her own as Morris Catholic will have to reset. Paldo finds a lane and finds a finish. Underhanded two. 16 point spread. Harris dribbles up. Harris wants a three. She's contested last second. That won't allow her to finish. On the rebound, we have a foul on the ground. From the floor is the foul. So a throw in for the Rebels. In play goes the basketball. Inside. Out of space is Rosenfeld. She goes to the ground, as well as Corey. And Mars Catholic takes over. Three fifty left to play. Stupakis, three. Women out. Morris Catholic not getting anything to go. Williamson can't get anything to go either. Kept in bounds on a good effort. Rosenfeld keeps it in. She's able to find a connecting and unable to finish. Corey, Morris Catholic rebound, Sam Pong. Oh, and an underhander. We'll find Neapoldo at the line. Neapoldo will now shoot two shots. Two shots now from Neapoldo with 3.30 left to play. Yes on the first. Second shot here will crack the 30 point marker for Morris Catholic. Morris Catholic will be gonna put their bigger frames back on defense. And it was a smart move as both shots will roll. The 30 point marker Hit the Crusaders. And they're pressing as well. Up the court comes Saddle River. Pearson, out of bounds. It will stay here. Saddle River remains with it. 3.22 left to go. The Rebels will make a substitution. Almeida checks out. Almeida checks in, takes out Pearson. Paris now with the throw-in. Complaining about the court facilities, and it looks to be all right now. The official will make sure that the court fits the basketball shoes. A complaint we saw this year down in West Orange quite often. Harris is trapped. Three minutes left to play, she's pickpocketed. Saddle River basketball. With the throw in. Finds help far side. One, two, three. It's no good. Offensive rebound. Back outside. Williamson. Defensive rebound once again. Second defensive rebound in a row there. Because of Rosenfeld's two rebounds, the Rebels will remain on the basketball. One, two outside. Paris, three. Rimming out. Morris Catholic rebound. On it and taking it up is Mattis. 
Aldo, pump fake. Three ball, Stupakis, it's off. Mattis fights for it, but she can't retain possession without a whistle. Jump ball. Mars Catholic will stay on it, and they will now lose the arrow. And after a quick realization from the officials, they give it back to the Rebels. So Colonial Rebels basketball. Morris Catholic press, they're gonna try and punch their way back into this game. Swung up the court, Rosen fouls! For two. 16 point lead. Aldo wants to respond, a jump three! What a finish. And Saddle River Day. Danny Brown would like to talk it over. It's a timeout. We'll be right back, stay tuned. So my apologies, no timeout was called there, as it was a warning on the bench of the Rebels as we have a whistle once again. This time Paldo, Mia Paldo called on the reach on the Paris Drive. So a throw in for Almeida. She will inbound it for Saddle River Day. Looks like the officials are confirming who will be charged on the reach in. A slowdown of pace we're seeing. And it will prompt a conversation for both teams. And while we have the time, I think it's appropriate to inform you and remind those of you who already knew that the champions of the Bergen County Tournament, taking down Immaculate Heart with Saddle River Day. A 72 to 60 victory against the team we will see playing Newark Academy of Livingston next. Right here on the D1 Media Pro page on the NFHS Network. And then for Morris Catholic in their other bracket, Morris County Champions. As they were successfully able to take down Morristown, 63 to 35. An easy road Morris Catholic had. From the inside, no finish applicable by Almeida. Basketball out of bounds, and will be inbounded by Morris Catholic. Well, the fans don't like the response to that one. Once again, pretty much a packed house in here in PCTI. Tickets bought in advance, not available here to be bought in person. People turn down at the gate. That's just how important this non-public B North final is. Winner, a date with St. John Vianney. The number one team in the state of New Jersey, St. John Vianney is. As we have a whistle and a block. And Saddle River Day take over. Again, Morris Catholic working on man-to-man -man pressing, forcing Rosenfeld to have to come across to push it across the half marker. Paris pivots. She thinks she found a lane. Over two, she's fouled to go to the line. It's a shooting foul for the Rebels. 33 to 46, Morris Catholic, the visitors, the second seed in this non-public B North Bracket Trail. Again, the winner, a rematch versus the Lancers of St. John Vianney. Both teams, a over 30 point loss against the number one team in the state of New Jersey. Undefeated in New Jersey competition are the Lancers of St. John Vianney as well. First shot off from the D1 commit going to North Carolina. Second shot is good. A minute 10 now. Off to play at this point in the third quarter before we have Smash Mouth. Fourth quarter basketball, one team season. And that is completion. Aldo, double team, out to her sister. Pump fake, finds lane for three. Oh 
doing the dirty work by the Paldo sisters all season long, trying to keep that 25 win streak alive. Only St. John Vandy could stop them, and they want to punch their ticket to take them on in the group finals. Unhappy. And called against on the foul was Maya Sampong. The 5'11 freshman is charged. 35 left to go. Foul shots now coming from Faith Williamson. Red hot from behind the line. And the one and one first shot is good. Forty-eight to thirty-six. A twelve point lead, Saddle River Day in the bonus. Big two foul shots give Saddle River Day that thirteen point lead. They've held common in the second quarter. A five o'clock tip off started right on time. A seven o'clock tip off right here from PCTI. Likely to happen as well. Stupakis three. Beautifully finished. That double digit lead, only 10. Morris Catholic pressing way to a fun fourth quarter. And Paris will knock down that clock. Three seconds to the fourth quarter. Paris powers through and finishes against the whole team. Paris executes. Fourth quarter up next, 12 point lead for Saddle River Day on the D1 Media Group page on the NFHS Network. Stay tuned. The North Jersey Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute is the preferred practice for diagnosis and orthopedic treatment in New Jersey. From the moment you become a patient in our practice, our experienced team supports you until your full recovery with education, compassion, and understanding. Our focus includes sports injuries, as well as the treatment of a broad range of orthopedic complaints, from common tendon ailments and arthritic joint pain to traumatic injuries. Our facility offers an on-site physical therapy suite in conjunction with specifically designed exercise programs, non-invasive and advanced healing technology. We can not only address the current injury, but also find the underlying cause, such as muscle weakness, imbalance, or improper form. We also offer non-surgical modalities, such as platelet-rich plasma injections, which can lead to an accelerated recovery. To provide efficient and excellent care, personal interactions, and individualized attention for each patient is important. We are committed to create a protocol that can eliminate similar injuries in the future. At North Jersey Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute, we are dedicated to providing the highest standard of care and comfort of athletes, including patients with non-related sports injuries. Board-certified orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, Dr. Michael Rusinella, utilizes non-surgical and minimally invasive surgical procedures to help patients regain back their quality of life. Fourth quarter underway, the Paldo sisters work together. Mia Paldo from three. And she'll now have that, and a foul shots it looks like, is the call. Yep, so the official will signal for three foul shots. Here in this fourth quarter, this could mean single digit difference. Those of you just joining us, three quarters of action. Morris Catholic in the lead in the first quarter. Santa River Day took the helm in the second, held it for all of the third. They have a comfortable lead in the fourth quarter. Good on the first. on the second. Two for three so far as the third one is ensuing. Three for three. And we have a nine point difference. A tightly contested matchup that Morris Catholic wants to come down the wire. Both teams a heavy stake in this one. One team will send a fantastic season to an end. Pass connection, backwards hit finish. Juliana Almeida is on fire today.
Seven minutes and 20 seconds. Stupakis from the outside. Driving in. Mia Palto. I don't know how she finished that one. She's a machine on the court. No call, too. Wow, we've seen our fair share of good finishes today. That might be the best. We've seen sniper threes from Faith Williamson. We've seen phenomenal hook shot finishes from Juliana Almeida. But I don't know if you can replace that one. Maybe that three. It's an scoring extravaganza here in Wayne. Substitution as whistles blow. We have a foul on the floor. Looks like the Colonial Rebels will remain with the basketball. As that is in fact what will happen. Under 6.45 left to play. One team will not be playing basketball as of tomorrow. The other team will be preparing for a game versus the number one team in New Jersey. In the non-public B group finals. At St. John Vianney. Still awaiting a call. Danny Brown has a lot to say. The head coach of Saddle River Day. Experienced time in that position today in his fancy yellow sweater and black pants. Morris Catholic, probably if not the largest varsity coaching staff you can see from a boys or a girls program, a technical foul is called. So a technical foul. Let's Almeida go to the line. This is key. It can put the Rebels back in winning ways. They're up by 13. As Almeida's two for two at the line. 14 points and their basketball. Responding to a three-pointer scored from the North Carolina commit now inbounding it. Blocked inbound, poked out of bounds. Chorus Catholic basketball. But that technical foul, huge for Saddle River Day. Complain they can't, Morris Catholic. A lot of work to do. As there's a backcourt violation. Aldo too focused on what's around her, not focused on what's directly in front of her. A dribbling basketball. She turns that one over, trying to keep it on her side. Backcourt violation. Six and a half left to play. Almeida making the cuts. She has a assist opportunity, can't find it. Offensive rebound put back. Too strong from Dakota Corey. Mattis will charge down the court. Aldo, backwards hook, and one! Unbelievable finish. So good it was written in a book. Neapaldo. Not joking around. She wants to take on the Lancers again. She's got a lot of work to do to get there. But shots like those can do the job. A whistle and a timeout for Danny Brown. Saddle River will use their first 11 point difference. Stay tuned. The North Jersey Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute is the preferred practice for diagnosis and orthopedic treatment in New Jersey. Our focus includes sports injuries, as well as the treatment of a broad range of orthopedic complaints, from common tendon ailments and arthritic joint pain to traumatic injuries. Our facility offers an on-site physical therapy suite in conjunction with specifically designed exercise programs, non-invasive and advanced healing technology. Specialist Dr. Michael Rusinella utilizes non-surgical and minimally invasive surgical procedures to help patients regain back their quality of life. A message from our sponsor right there, New Jersey Orthopedic Sports Institute of Medicine. Special thank you down in Clifton to Dr. Michael C. Arusanello of NJ Orthopedics. 
injury, reach out to Michael C. Rusinella. Phone number was on screen. Trapped and losing the basketball is Pearson. And Pargo, not surprised, she finished that one. Nine point spread, 5.50 to play. Harris is frustrated. She loops around and goes down. Turnover. Before she was fouled, or so she claims, that basketball deservedly falls to the Crusaders. Morris Catholic definitely more supporters. Easier trip for them, they're within the county. Denville to Wayne, as bad as a 15 minute trip at most. Via bus, of course. Paldo whistles on the court. And a foul on the court. It will remain Morris Catholic basketball. Five twenty-nine left to play. And downs we go. Whistles come in. Back on the four for a Morris Catholic throw-in. coming for both sides. As it's been a great effort today for both teams. Morris Catholic trying to squeeze their way back into this one. The Caldo sisters, sisters, excuse me, will switch who will throw in. As Maya to her sister Mia. Mia finds a lane, loses the basketball. Harris keeps it in. It's a nice throw. Almeida meets it in the middle. Her pass too strong to Corey. They retain as Paris drives in through the whole team again this time. She gets a three shot at the line for two shots. Two shots now at the line. A lot of pressure for these players. A valiant crowd in attendance today. Saddle River Day brought their student section with them. Shot rolls. Double digit difference. Four possession difference. But we've seen how quickly that can change. Two for two. Crusaders control. To Pacus. Driving in Paldo back on out. Mattis three. Rebound. Tipped and thrown on up to Paris. She finishes. Back to 13 points. Under five minutes left to play. And a good decision by Lovett to use his third time. I'll have two remaining. Stay tuned. Green pass, out in the flat, caught, and it's a touchdown for St. Peter's. Okay. O'Donnell swinging away, puts it over the shortstop's head. That's a base hit, it'll score one. Faraz on his way home. Throw is not in time. Going quickly, Bullock takes the snap, throws to the far side. Oh, an open touchdown. In there, called strike three, looking. Mulcahy he strikes out the side. He's perfect through two. Now up ahead for the Marauders. Here comes Bengals. They score! Michael Bengals for St. Peter's Park. Bounced on the ground to short. Faraz Fields flip to O'Donnell one. Throw on to first. In time for a double play. Just we'll look back out there for the Marauders. He takes the snap. Looking over the middle. Has a man. And he scores. Reels it in. 35. Step on to defend this. Two on to the 20. Once again, hit in the air to deep center field. Sicka moving on the back at the wall. It's gone. Ellis Reed with a two-run blast, and the Marauders have a six-nothing lead. St. Peter's Prep has the best coverage for its student athletes. Why don't you? Welcome back. 
Four and a half left to go, 13 point lead. One team will play on. Haldo to her sister. Stupakis, excuse me. Check that one, it was Mattis, as this three's in and out. Rebounded by Corey, thrown on up. Harris, not challenged on the finish. 64-49, 15 point spread. Aldo to her sister, the two of them work well at the point, as point guard, shooting guard. Three, rimming out. Gets her own rebound on the hustle, loses it in the process. And there's a kickball called, and they're pointing to, set to Morris Catholic. And that's in fact what they did. They give it back to Morris Catholic on the kickball. Thrown in, Paul Doe, from the outside. Spin move, and layup finish. 13 point spread. Up the court now come the Rebels. Good passing, space for Almeida, back on out. She gets it back at the mid-range. Harris three. Nothing but net. 67-51. Aldo can't respond. Corey rebound. Almeida with three minutes. Back on out to Paris. Paris drives through. Almeida mid-ranger. Rolls in. Some stupendous finishes on both sides. 69 to 51, a high schooling, high school affair. Aldo, mid ranger. Rimming out. Looks like it might have been defensively tipped as well from this angle. Harris will take her time, use up her eight seconds in the backcourt. She has no reason to rush. minutes and 20 seconds. No shot clock in high school basketball for the girls, nor the boys at every level. Harris throws Powell over the ground. She's charged on the block. Slow to get up she is, we'll hope she's all right. On the ground she stays. And that'll give us a second to, to hear from a message from our sponsor. The North Jersey Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute is the preferred practice for diagnosis and orthopedic treatment in New Jersey. From the moment you become a patient in our practice, our experienced team supports you until your full recovery with education, compassion, and understanding. Our focus includes sports injuries as well as the treatment of a broad range of orthopedic complaints from common tendon ailments and arthritic joint pain to traumatic injuries. Our facility offers an on-site physical therapy suite in conjunction with specifically designed exercise programs, non-invasive and advanced healing technology. We can not only address the current injury but also find the underlying cause such as muscle weakness, imbalance or improper form. We also offer non-surgical modalities, such as platelet-rich plasma injections, which can lead to an accelerated recovery. To provide efficient and excellent care, personal interactions, and individualized attention for each patient is important. We are committed to create a protocol that can eliminate similar injuries in the future. At North Jersey Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute, we are dedicated to providing the highest standard of care and comfort of athletes, including patients with non-related sports injuries. Board-certified orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, Dr. Michael Rusinella, utilizes non-surgical and minimally invasive surgical procedures to help patients regain back their quality of life. Welcome back, so little explanation, injury. That was confirmed a defensive foul, put Saddle River Day in the bonus. Morris Catholic used a minute timeout. First shot was swished, and the second one does suit as well. 2-10 now left to go in this one. A 20-point lead for Saddle River Day. Just two minutes away, as here's a three, that's no good. Two minutes away they are. 
and taking on St. John Vianney once again, this time in a more important matchup, in which last time they lost by 35. Good control for the Rebels. Paris. 100 seconds left to play. And then on public B. State sectional final north. The Rebels and the Lancers are the next stage. And for Morris Catholic, wrapping up a great season that included only two losses and a 25 game win streak, making up all 25 wins. As there's a reach to stop the clock with 80 seconds. Bonus means Rebels at the foul line, and Paris, two for two her last meeting at the line, takes the flight there once again. Shot is good. And the second of two. Rolls right through. And the Rebels will make some key substitutions. Saddle River Day fan substitutions. Harris gets a hug. A phenomenal performance. Coach Danny Brown's team knew they had tough competition. A top 10 battle, according to NJ.com, lived up to its potential. And the Rebels gave us a show. Same as the Paldo sisters. As is an air ball from Mia Paldo's trickery. Faith Williamson, up on over. Some new faces for the Colonial Rebels as we're under a minute left to play. And a whistle comes in with exactly 45 and change. At the line goes Faith Williamson, a sniper three today. Quite the day from the outside, a one-two punch. Rebels looking to make another substitution. Brooke Brain, for Saddle River Day, checks in. Haley Minaj checks in from Morris Catholic. Applause all around. Good on the first shot is Faith Williamson. But on the second shot is Faith Williamson. More subs come in. And Morris Catholics wants to refill the arsenal. Four out of the five come out. A respectable applause. That's right, Morris Catholic. A 25 game win streak this year, one of the best in New Jersey. Will finish the season where they stood since day one. Ranked high in the top 10. Excuse me, the top 20. And the basketball will be inbounded. And a whistle. And now Morris Catholic is in the bonus. 24, they're down. As at the line for them, Haley Minaj. 5'9 senior guard. Can't hook the first. Both teams in the bonus, we see a jump on the rebound credited to Saddle River. They will now inbound. 30 seconds now left to play. Three ball. That shot's off from Red. Taken away off the rebound. From the outside, the Rebels control. Red will hold. No shot clock means that one. We'll wrap it up. The first of two games here on D1 Media Pro. See Saddle River Day take on St. John Vanny for a second time as they are state sectional champions. Saddle River Day will win their section 
They're going to go and win their group and punch a ticket to the Tournament of Champions. They gotta beat St. John Vianney to do suit. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Ryan Lowey. I was joined with Dre Cameron on camera. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you at game number two. Be sure to click the non public A stream next on the D1 Media Pro page on the NFHS Network. He's gonna take it himself for a championship! Oh. A, a double play and wins it the three. Turn it to the end zone. What a catch! The guy is on touchdown!